here's what I'm going to tell you. There are two kinds of evidences, and I've already shared this with you before. Intellectual evidences and what else? Spiritual, moral evidences. The Qur'an, what we talked about for the most part, were kind of along the lines of intellectual evidences. Right? But the Qur'an also calls on the human being's own sense of decency, which the Qur'an terms fitra. fitra it's a sense of pre-programmed decency inside of us that what it's saying appeals to, the, uh, appeals to reason and appeals to morality. The tragedy of our times is that the Qur'an is portrayed as a demonized book. A book that calls towards killing and injustice and hatred and intolerance and all of these negative terms are used in regards to the Qur'an and it's carelessly and also maliciously quoted and mistranslated often to, to create this sentiment among people who say, I'd rather never read this book. I have met people, personally, that hated Islam and decided one day, they're at the library, they're, they're like, all kinds of problems. They, they went to the library and said, might as well read it. I hate it so much, I'm going to read it and get even more angry, right? <laughs> he reads it at the New York Public Library in Queens in Steinway. A friend of mine, he, reads, he goes there to read the Quran, reads, I think he read through half of it, and came out and he was a Muslim. And he told me, he told me himself, I wasn't reading the Qur'an, the Qur'an was reading me. That's what he said. It was telling me about my life. Fihi dhikrukum. You'll find your own mention in it. It's talking about you, it's not talking about stories of old times. Now when you talk about external evidence, the external evidence is your own conscience. The Qur'an is enough as evidence. Actually the, the Arab said, is there any other evidence? You got anything else from the sky you want to show me? Something comes down, you know? How about some, some springs come out of water out of nowhere? Anything else? You know? And what did Allah say to them basically in Surah Al-Ankabut? Isn't it enough for them? Awalam yakfihim? Isn't it enough for them? Anna anzalna alayk al kitaba yutla alayhim? That we have sent a book down upon you that is to be read to them? That should be enough. God's word is enough. Now, if, if one feels the need to say, what more you got? <laughs> then Allah's got the answer. He said, it's enough. There are two things your own moral conscience and the Quran itself. Now, when you talk about other intellectual evidences, the one He's poking me to get out to you is in regards to historicity, if we have time, because it takes time and I'd rather deal with your questions, if we have time, we'll get into that, inshallah.